just started hailing here. <laughs> Double rainbow! It's so beautiful! It's a really freaking vivid rainbow. It was rainbow like crazy. There goes the hail again. Why? Why are you hailing? I think it's getting brighter. You can see the entire thing. You see two full rainbows the entire way around.
Alrighty, we're fixing to get going here. Uh, it's a beautiful day. All right, guys, we're fixing to get started. Put it on the screen. All right, now we're fixing to get started. Uh, we're in the first run group. It's going to be kind of a mucky day. Ellis and the Porsche just took off to clean us up the course. And uh, we're going to see how it goes. All right, guys, wish me luck. Final round, let's go. close to 30s. <laughs> Woohoo! Fastest time by far. Yeah. Lights going.
And this was the moment. I've been chasing this moment across the country. I picked up a lot of class wins all over the place, but I wanted to come home and I wanted to get the big class win at home. And not only a class win, I really wanted a first place overall. I know how close I was, even on winter tires and even with a little bit of, with a little bit of driving experience I had in the Fiesta. I was still within the top five and I was so close and I thought, if I get that seat time, if I get the right setup, if I know what the car wants and I can actually make it do it, I could take home that first place overall and this this is where it was going to happen this day i was robbed of this moment back on my birthday rally cross because i db did a tire and ever since then i was like oh i was so close my times were so good that day and if i hadn't db it, i think i would have got first place overall on my birthday which would have been insane the goal i've been chasing all 2018 plus would be on my birthday so here that moment comes right now. Uh, first place, Jim Rowland. Boo. Uh, uh, yeah, in that moment I froze. I knew for sure in my head that there was no way that I didn't get first place, but they didn't call my name for first place. And I, I froze. I didn't know what to say. I had, I, I, I don't know, I, my mind was, I turned off all my camera and I was just sat there, I was like, how? And then it, after the howls hit, it was the, well, this, this is it. I mean, I'm, I'm getting closer, that's for sure. I got second place, so I knew I was getting close. But something in my head wasn't adding up, so I went and looked at the, uh, the audit sheet where they actually keep the time. So at a rally cross, they have an audit sheet plus the computer. Well, the computer read out that I got second place. But the audit sheet, there was no way anybody was even close to what I was doing. So after I talked to the guys and we went back and looked at the audit sheet versus what the computer said, the computer was wrong. The computer was wrong. And it's not anybody's fault. It was just that happens. That's, what, that's why we do an audit sheet. So what happened was they had forgot one time from the person who got first place from Jim. And it only showed him having 13 runs and everybody else had 14. But Jim is so freaking good that no one questioned it. I mean, Jim, he wins first place all the time. So it was just like, oh, well, Jim won. But he didn't. I won. I got my first place. I got that first place overall. All those days and all those times racing across the country and getting all that seat time forever. I drove this thing. You kind of see it here, the Element. That was my rally car for many, many years. I was always a fast driver in a slow car. But now I have a fast car. You know, a fast driver, and, and that's where I'm going to end this video. I finally got that first place overall and the class win against Jim. Jim is an amazing, consistent driver. He's always consistently first place, if not top three, every rally cross we have. And to finally get past him and finally say that I, I I know where I'm at as a driver and as the car, and to use him as a benchmark has has been incredible. Like he is far tenured than I am. Him and the Sentra are a, are one unit and they go out there and just destroy every time. So I, now that I know that I can get past that, I'm ready to see how far I can go. I, it, it was really exciting to get there. So thank you, Jim. Thank you, everybody out there. And it's been an amazing year. I, to do it at the last Rallycross for Arkansas region, uh, Rallycross, it couldn't have been better. It was a storybook ending. I know I didn't get the, oh, well, here's he, he won first place, but I don't need that. I know I need the data that says you can do this now. And I I couldn't be more excited. I got another rally cross coming up in December. I may go to one next weekend at Brienne's. We'll see how that turns out. But uh Hey guys. Thank you guys for coming along with the journey. And I this is a big milestone for me and I'm not gonna forget it. And I'm not gonna forget all those times racing across the country against some of the best drivers in the country all the way up to nationals where I, I ran out of tire. I didn't have the tires for it. But next year, I won't forget that. Next year, I'll be on top of it. And next year, 
we're gonna see how far we can go with this. Thank you all very much for watching. Thank you all for staying along the journey and all the guys along the way that I met. It was amazing to meet you and I can't wait to see you guys on the course next year. So I'll see you guys later. You have never stood this close to where